is when you find me cycling across Bandra. One, because it's close to home, and two, because it presents itself with uh, quite a few opportunities for a hill ride, which is all the way up to Mount Mary Church, and after which I do a few loops of bandstand, which is relatively flat, but does help me try to get into a high cadence, high wattage, off the saddle type riding. And uh, it tends to be relatively uneventful, but on this particular day, I did manage to get this really competitive cyclist passed me by. And he passed me at also the right time because even though he was on the opposite side of the road, that is exactly the place when I need to turn and uh, begin my loops of bandstand. How would I know that he's a competitive cyclist? Well, you can just by looking at his gear. So you can hear the sound of those tires. You definitely are is, is a, a super hyped up bike there. Good morning. Yeah. yeah, after the pleasantries are out of the way, I, soon as I passed him, I knew that he's going to keep in pace. And because I, I could hear the cycle close by, I knew that he was at the moment drafting and trying to keep as close as he could to my pace. And another fun part of riding here in Bandra is that you'll always have some interesting personalities like this one who are also coming there for a leisurely ride while the two of us are trying to gun it down bandstand. So this is a section that I always get off my saddle because it has a slight incline up. But as soon as I looked ahead, I knew that it's going to be a little difficult one this time. Hi, yo. Side, side. Side, 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 side. Now, I would never recommend this. It's absolutely not for the faint hearted. But I just did not want to slow down. So I managed to get through without much trouble. So, here, almost at the halfway point, okay, I could hear that he was behind because of the sound that his wheels make. And um, it was going to be a 180 degree turn that's coming up in the road. So I thought that if I managed to execute it well uh, and also make a sprint, I should be able to distance myself easily. So that's exactly what I did but uh, he definitely responded well. Yeah. Yeah. So I was super impressed with the distance he managed to put in in just a few seconds. But I also knew that um, I would be able to reel him in as long as I managed to get a quick sprint at this particular section. And uh, I definitely tried that, but I knew that I'm going to get some traffic along the way. And I think with Mumbai roads is that you always have to accommodate for that odd idiot who wants to ride on the wrong side of the road. But uh, the sprint here, after that speed breaker, did manage me to get through, get past him. I was not sure if he was slowing down because he was tired, he was slowing down, so he wanted me to catch up so he could draft again, I have no clue. But uh, I just took the lead pretty greedily and tried to make the most out of it. This was the last 150 meters, so then again I uh, go for the sprint and uh, for some reason I think I did manage to distance uh, myself from him because I couldn't hear him too close and uh, it was also close for me to make a U-turn for my next loop, so that's when I gesture for the turn. So it was quite a consolation that I managed to get or keep, at least keep in pace with uh, 
that rider because he definitely had the right equipment and uh, he also seemed to be quite a powerful rider uh, on this section. So that's all folks, just a deviation from my usual videos but I definitely felt it deserved the narration. So until next time, 